Here's a three minute summary of Unlimited Memory by Kevin Horsley. In order to master memory, you need the four C's, concentration, create imagery, connecting concepts, and continuous use. Concentration means purpose, interest, and curiosity. Create imagery means to practice your imagination and senses. The more creative you are, the easier the memory methods are. Connecting concepts means to practice relating the known to the unknown. Continuous use means review and practice as often as you can. Those are the four C's that will guide you to gaining superhuman memory. All right, here are the memory methods. Most methods use the journey or mind movie tool where you imagine certain events happening in your head. First, the car method. In this method, you imagine going through your car and seeing events or objects in a particular sequence that represent what you need to memorize. For instance, if you want to memorize the seven habits of highly effective people, you might make up a story with a B for be proactive and a brain running to a finish line to represent begin with the end in mind and so on. Basically what you have to do is imagine a story with notable characters and the environment is your car. For the body method, instead of a car, replace it with your body. You can start at your toes and move your way up or vice versa. And that's it for the body method. There are two peg methods. First, the rhyme method. Come up with rhymes for numbers such as one bun, two shoe, and so on. Then store whatever you need to memorize in the object. Next, the shape method. Imagine objects that are shaped like numbers, such as a pencil for one and a duck for two, and then use those objects to make connections to information you want to memorize. Next is the places or location method. This is essentially the same idea as the car and body method, but you use a place you're very familiar with. This is Kevin's method for memorizing 10,000 digits of pi and achieving unlimited memory. Next is the link method. Come up with a story to memorize a list. For instance, you see a man washing a tin with a large Adam's apple. A chef and her son hand him medicine and then so on. That's for memorizing presidents. Another approach is to combine images and create a story from them. Here's the first 10 elements of the periodic table. Next is memorizing names. First, the comparison method. Think of somebody with the same name as the person you met and compare facial features. Connect them in your mind. For the second method, find an outstanding feature in the person's face, like their nose, eyes, or ears, and link them to their name. Finally, memorizing numbers. Assign each number to a sound. Zero for the s sound, one for the t or d sound, two for the n sound, three for the m sound, four for the r sound, five for the l sound, six for the j, sh, or ch sound, seven for the k sound, eight for the v or f sound, nine for the b or p sound. Vowels are ignored, so United States of America is 211011081347. Use this to remember phone numbers, dates, stock prices, restroom codes, and so on. Okay, and that was right about three minutes. Those are the biggest points from Unlimited Memory by Kevin Horsley. This video was super fast, so if you're interested in a more detailed explanation of each memory method, check out my full mind map summary video in the description. This video was basically just a super condensed version of that video for viewers who want their information faster. By the way, you can also download my PDF summary of this book in the link below. Also, if you like what I do and want to support the channel, consider checking out my Patreon. As a Patreon, you'll get an exclusive look on how I create my content and other bonuses. If you're interested in increasing your productivity, check out my website to get my free guide to creating a strong system. Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite memory method. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.